everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists have developed a new biomaterial that promises to revolutionize the way we treat burn victims. Developed by a team at Tokyo's Tokai University, the new material is an ultra-thin, biodegradable form of polyester called poly-L lactic acid, or PLLA. The PLLA nanosheets, as they're called, are light, flexible, and capable of clinging to irregularly shaped surfaces without additional adhesives. The nanosheets were tested on burn wounds. A single dressing was found to protect against infection for three days. So not only do the nanosheets protect against infection, they could also drastically reduce the frequency with which wound dressings need to be changed, making recovery safer and less painful for victims of severe burns. The research that led to the development of PLLA nanosheets is being presented this week at the National Meeting of the American Chemical Society. Next up, an international team of researchers has discovered microhabitats in tiny droplets of water taken from an asphalt lake. In a study published in the journal Science, the researchers describe what they found when they tested samples from Pitch Lake in Trinidad, the world's largest known natural tar pit. Though it was already known that Pitch Lake is home to a wide variety of extremophilic bacteria, the team discovered that diverse microbial ecosystems were present in samples as tiny as one microliter, or approximately one-fiftieth of a single drop of water. The fact that such life could thrive in an environment as inhospitable as Pitch Lake is encouraging to those who hope to find life in the hydrocarbon lakes on the surface of Saturn's moon Titan. But the microbes studied were also found to be breaking down the oil in the asphalt, which could make them very useful in developing new methods of cleaning up oil spills, giving them a more practical, down-to-earth significance as well. Finally, a team of theoretical physicists has proposed a new theory that, if true, would radically alter our understanding of the Big Bang and our universe. The theory, described in the August issue of Scientific American, suggests that our three-dimensional universe resulted when a star in a larger four-dimensional universe collapsed into a black hole. Just as black holes in our three-dimensional universe are surrounded by two-dimensional event horizons, black holes in the hypothetical four-dimensional universe would be surrounded by three-dimensional event horizons. It is around such an event horizon that our universe exists, according to the new theory. It sounds outlandish, and it seems to raise just as many questions as it answers. Where did the four-dimensional universe come from? How can we know anything about what it's like? And until we do, how can we possibly rely on it as a basis for a theory that describes our universe? Nevertheless, the researchers at the Perimeter Institute who developed the theory insist that not only does the math work, their theory is testable. So, who knows? Our universe could be wrapped around the outside of a black hole within a larger, potentially much stranger universe. Maybe someday we'll be able to find out for sure. A new biomaterial could drastically improve the way we dress wounds and treat severe burns. Microscopic ecosystems filled with oil-eating microbes are discovered in Earth's largest natural tar pit and our universe might be the product of a four-dimensional black hole. That's the good news. Yes, it is. Well, I don't care what you say. Are you just not interested in astronomy? Is that it?